So, good. So just before we start, um, I've been working on something that I think you're gonna find it really cool. So I've been working on, ah, uh, you can't really see. I know you can't really see. It's a lot of light reflecting as well. But basically what I'm doing, I am separating all the acrobatic skills that we use in capoeira. Now, let me start saying already, when we say acrobatic skills, of course, depend of where you practice or who you practice with, what kind of style, you think something may be completely different than what I'm saying, okay? <laughs> when I say acrobatic skills, some people may think about, you know, this kind of gymnastic stuff. I'm talking about, let's call it the capoeira acrobatic skills, yeah? <laughs> so, I, I'm, I'm, this is what I wrote about this, I wrote, complexity... Oh, sorry, go back again, I read wrong. Therefore, as you add complexity, you want to know what kind of effect you will also add. And this is where it gets interesting for us because I'm separating the examples and I'm dividing this idea of tumbling into posture, what is the tumbling that I'm doing? What kind of distortion am I using? I'm gonna call it distortion. Distortion can be something like, is it towards the player or is it away from the player? So that means if I do a macaco, just I'm going to do a macaco to film on a camera. That macaco will be my best, perfect macaco. But if I'm playing you, maybe the macaco will distort a little bit towards you as I play or maybe away from you as I move away from you. I can show you some examples of this. They're really cool. And we're going to work some of these as well on basics of this. Okay, then we have to think about the effects that we are adding. Now we come to this page here, which is where I separate each. I'm starting to work on it, so it's gonna take some time. So I've got posture, distortion, and texture. Have a little look at this. Posture, distortion, texture. Posture, distortion, texture. So for example, under posture will come something like Ao. Distortion towards the person, away from the person. Texture. Do I add a back bend or a forward bend? That's just an example. So then I put here examples of textures. Back bend forward or for back bend or forward bend. Twists. Arms. Are the arms bent? That completely change the texture of it. A with arms bent, a with arms straight. Arms bent or arms straight. Arms wide or arms close. And then comes to the next part, which is the blend. The blend of two movements. Example, macaco to a handstand. Don't just do the macaco, go into a handstand, a bananeira. Uh, where do I begin the movement? And where do I end the movement? Okay, now you might think, why are we having a lecture on this, on MDT? Well, because I think two things before we begin. One is, if you are a musician, you want to learn all the aspects of the instrument. You learn the chords, you learn how to tune the instrument, you learn different scales, you learn the different register of the instrument, um, you learn improvisation skills, you learn how to accompany another uh, musician, you learn rhythm, you learn all these different things that can be divided and understood with different methods that helps you. Now we are practicing scales, scale. Now we are practicing uh, rhythm and so on, right? And it comes to capoeira, we don't do that much. Not everybody, some teachers do, other teachers don't. So I think I want to find a way that I can, I can, we can help the movement to be understood. <laughs> That's the better way of saying. So in class today, I might bring a couple of things related to this. I'll say, okay, guys, we've got this awu, this is the texture, this is the posture, this is the distortion. And in your mind, you're going to start to separate. Ah, bend arms, back bend, bend arms, forward bend, bend arms straight. You see what I mean? And that's going to be part, not all of it, of what we're going to do today. All right. This is part of the momentum, part of the effect. So if you take your hands now, hands now and you do this, and I want you to go, touch, go, this, tum, tum. 
Just have a little rehearsal of that. Doom, doom. It's like one hand is telling the other to move. Touch. So I switch places, right? There's something in the middle. Switch place. I'm here, but now I'm gonna switch places. See that? So that's, there is a momentum here, but I'm stopping the momentum. But now I'm, I'm developing the moment here. I am going here. Okay, good. So we're gonna do some awus to warm up, just our basic awu, and we're gonna work on some things that you have, you already know all of this. You've done it so many times. We're just framing, we're just framing in a certain way that helps you to understand. So my first idea is to just do awu, and we're gonna go with arms straight underneath the shoulder, and we're gonna just change little awu where I'm forward bending. But I'm trying to lift a little bit the hip, so I have a little bit more of a jump from one side to the other. Not a lift, but a jump. So prepare, let's warm up. Fingertips grip the floor, and think of jumping, okay? Three, four, six, stretch your arms. Six, set, eight, nine, there is 10 more, mm. a little fast if you can. Three, four, cinco, six, seven, eight, nine, dez. Okay, so we have straight arms, forward bend. And the posture is au. Au with straight arms, with forward bend. <laughs> One more time, au with straight arms, forward bending. Okay, great. So now we're going to do wide arms, bend, forward bend. Au, wide, forward bending. Okay, so wide arms, bend, and I'm still forward bending. So I'm compressing everything towards the floor. Okay, and um, dois, três, Quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez. Keep bending the arm. You're trying to touch your head to the floor. Três, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez. Okay, so that texture of touching your head to the floor idea is really beautiful, especially when you slow down now we're doing a little faster for a reason but when you slow down guys we can start to add distortions so for example here as i think of going to the floor and i slow down the body starts to open in other ways okay then the value of that becomes heightened by the posture the value becomes heightened by the posture, by the choices you make. The choices you make validate the movement more. Wow! <laughs> he says himself. Ah, wow! <laughs> Next one we're going to do now, it's a little bit more advanced. We're going to straight arms and start to bring the legs up. Not behind, not back bend, but up. Okay, so we're going from forward to up. My advice, if you feel a little bit uns not safe, <laughs> then you should not kick the legs too high, okay? So we are blending, we are thinking of a au that goes into a bananera, but finishing au. So please don't stay 10 minutes in a bananera because that's not what we are practicing, oh my God. Straight arms, we're gonna jump and try to stretch leg and then bend at the end here. Okay, this is a U that we go one way only. One way only. One way only. Prepare. And um. Dois. Três. Quatro. Cinco. Six, seven, eight, 
No, stretch your arm as much as you can. Dez. All the way. Um. Dois. Três. Quatro. Cinco. Seis. Sete. Oito. Nove. Dez. It's really interesting because you will see, as I move from the bananeira, I'm creating, there's a theme, right? Bam, 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 bam. There is a theme created. Now look what happens to the leg. And now look how beautiful that posture will become. And then how I can use all these other things I was talking about. Watch this. You probably were doing that already, but if you're not, this is what we're gonna aim for, okay? And we are gonna do again, but I want you to watch. So here, as I go up and I find this, now one leg starts to stay there as this come down. So I'm starting to get this leg to behave like that. You see? which is of course where I'm going to start to... Oh, oh my God, nobody saw that. Hold the pandeiro, misericordia. That's going to go on YouTube, I promise you. I'm not going to hide the fact that I kicked the pandeiro. <laughs> Rule number one of distortion movements. Check the space first, Mesty. <laughs> Up, now I can start to add all this distortion here. What happens if I twist? Maybe I'll knock the atabaki down. You see what I mean? Now I did with a twist. Back down. You see what I mean? Now I did with a twist. And I'm at, we're here, then we are here. Okay, we're coming back to this movement. Then he's gonna be my holé, or holé, where I open. And then I bring the leg up. Bend, let's do with a bend down first to come back down. So here and switch, fall. Now I open, look, turn around, readjust your hand, put your hand in the right place, and then ow. You're gonna see how pretty it looks when we add momentum to everything. Okay, switch your feet, uh, one hand. One, two, readjust the hand, sweep. I want to challenge him, that's why it's challenging him now, making it harder by saying, as you go up and as you come down here, I think he's doing this, can you open the legs earlier here? This is a new concept that hopefully will pay off so much. Um, which is the explanation between the, the, the different ways to approach the movement, then obviously the first thing to say is we've got to spend some time doing that. But what for me is more important is the fact that we are dealing today, yes, muscles, of course. I'm not saying we're just uh, not using our muscles, but we are dealing with coordination muscles. We are dealing with the side of capoeira that helps you to also uh, understand your game, to be aware of how to add these artistic sides to the movements. 
parts of it were more physical in terms of repeating an awu, but as you start to add these things, we're dealing with coordination muscles. The muscles that help you to age beautifully in capoeira. We can't just get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger, stronger. Then we're not, we, then, if we just, I mean, we go, always go back to that. But if we just do that, we're in a different genre. We start to go into calisthenics, <laughs> you know? We, you know when you see something like, oh my God, that's so much like capoeira. Oh, capoeira is so much like yoga. Oh, there's so many things about, yeah, there's different, there's similar things, but the genre will change the meaning or the purpose behind the, the, the outcome, the, the culture around. In the case of capoeira, many things will look like calisthenics, you know, look like whatever, you know, hand balancing. But how we approach the genre is uh, changed by how we create with it. So today we are learning how to use our coordination muscles a little bit more, to you understand the momentum, to understand switch of leg, okay? because I treat these things like something that you are studying again, all right? And then final point, just want to remind you how I felt today that we, that, uh, you know, you are really bringing, you are calibrating also your share by thinking about these things, by having passion. I just want you to have a little think of that. If you may, maybe write something down that how important it is to create this energy that will drive you to do things sometimes unrelated to how strong you are. For me, these things really happen in Capoeira because I think I've just seen enough for so many years where there is training and then there is Ashe and they are they walk together, but sometimes one speaks louder than the other. If only your training speaks louder than your Ashe, we could say that you haven't quite understood how to calibrate your Ashe. Okay? If only your ashe speaks louder, great artist, but maybe we want to have a healthy life as well. We want to train our body. So also my body is always a good vessel for my ashe. That's the point. A good dancer is a good dancer because it can be a vessel for the creativity. Not just to say, look what dance done to me. I look great. For us, we want to say, look what dance has done to me. It allowed me to find my ashe and to keep my ashe healthy for as long as I can. That's it. All right, guys, have a wonderful week.